All right, so continuing on, we want to find the length of the curve. We've got our, our infinitesimal arc length element here, so we're going to go ahead and, and compute it. Now, this curve, well, we know what this curve is, right? It's a circle. It's a circle of radius 3, right? 3, 0, 0, 3, okay? Uh, but uh, t only goes from 0 to 3 pi over 2, so actually, I guess... Um, we're not including that part of the circle, right? So we have three quarters of a, of a circle. Okay, well, I guess we don't need calculus to answer this, right? The length is going to be three quarters of the circumference, which is 2 pi r. And r is 3. So I should get 9 pi over... 2. Right? That should be the length. All right, so we don't need calculus to calculate the length, but at least it will give us a good test, make sure that, you know, um, this trick I'm using here is not complete nonsense, that it does give us the right answer. So let's have a go at doing it using proper calculus. Okay? Um, the length should be the integral from 0 to 3 pi over 2 of x prime of t squared plus y prime of t squared dt. So that's going to be the integral from 0 to 3 pi over 2 of, well, here's x, x prime will be 9 minus 9 sine t, we square it, or sorry, x prime is th minus 3 sine t, we're squaring it, I'm getting ahead of myself, 9 sine squared t. y prime is 3 cos t. We square it, we get 9 cos squared t. All right. And of course we can factor out the 9. Sine squared plus cos squared is 1. Square root of 9 is 3. And we just have the integral from 0 to 3 pi over 2 of 3 dt. And that's just going to be 3 times 3 pi over 2. And of course we get the same answer.